events here. We've had birthday parties. We've had showers. Absolutely. We've had gatherings. Book clubs meet here. So we're saying use this as a facility. Mm -hmm. Use it as a resource, a mm -hmm. community resource. Bring your children here. Absolutely. Now, do you think that this place is worth your children saying? Yes. yes. I mean, I'm just, do you really? Know? Yes. Absolutely. So we have to let our actions speak louder than our words. We have to make an effort to spend money and places that are important to us. Now, we can go downtown, and I don't have any problems with, you know, purchasing de designer clothes, designer purses, and, you know, you go to Macy's and you do your thing, but you've got to bring it home first. And that just ought to be a commitment that we have just in our lives, because I believe in our community, we have everything we need to bring our children out of this mess, Yep. to help get drugs out of our community absolutely and to make sure that we start building the, the family foundation our children need a mother and father and absent of that how about a mentor yeah 
So I'm saying, you know, let it begin somewhere. Let it begin with our money. We can control where we spend our money. That's not a hard decision. I love spending money with people who look like me. Harold Washington said it best. It's not anti anybody else. It's just pro-black. We have to do what is going to help grow us, and we have to love and want to do it. So I do it. I try to encourage family and friends to do it, and I preach it everywhere I go. So we all have a, a, a sphere of influence. You have your church. You have your school. You have your family. You have your uh, associations, your sororities, your fraternities. I'm saying let's start talking about spending money at black businesses. So can we all just commit to that? Yes. And I'm asking that if you're going to purchase a book, can you commit to buying that book at Afterwear? I know you may get some kind of discount somewhere else, but I'm saying just let your social consciousness say, I'm going to bring the money home because I know that events like this will occur. And, he's, and Zinga tries her best to bring these events free of charge, but you know there's a cost just to have the place lit and just to have heat. But she does it from her heart. Um, she's dedicated. And I thank her for that. And so I'm saying she also supports other black businesses. So I'm saying we have wonderful Sister Nettie here, Dr. Sister Nettie. Now, isn't this a person? I, I saw you standing here. I'm thinking you should be on Oprah. Where is your book in her book club? But I'm saying, but if we need to, to start it here, and, and take you where you need to be, then let us do that. Let our Absolutely. dollars speak. And let us stand for something this year. Mm -hmm. And let us not be afraid to make a move to encourage each other to talk to our young people. I live in a community where there are, you know, gang members. But I am not going to be scared to look these young brothers in the face and say hello. Because you know what they do when I do? They look back and say hello. Yep. <laughs> they smile. You know, I, I'm not going to, so I'm saying let's have enough love and respect for each other to do that. Let's have enough love and respect for our businesses to support our businesses before they all go under. Because we have had several within the last five years closed. So I'm asking that you support Afroware, to donate whatever you have. And if you don't have it, say a prayer, keep a positive thought. Uh, when you make purchases, gift cards. If you're not buying a book for yourself, buy a book for a friend. Uh, we're asking, you know, once again, schools, and Zynga has now expanded into providing textbooks for schools, uh, libraries, uh, universities. So I'm saying let's use just our fear of influence and uh, really support her and make it grow. And then perhaps we can start our own uh, educational institution. All right. So I want to say thank you, and I'm going to say give to It Hurts. <laughs> but, uh, thank, but if you don't have it, that's okay, too. We're glad you're just here on the first day of 2010 to spend this with us. So thank you so, so much. Thank you.